Right. right. So any man you can complain about, he wasn't masculine, he wasn't an alpha, he wasn't a high earner. You picked him. Right. You had one job. I agree. As a woman, and it's to pick the man you want to be with, and you can't even do that right because you keep picking a bad. I, ladies, I want you to make a list of the man you want. A full list. Write it down like you're going grocery shopping. If you want him to be six feet tall, I want him to make $3 million a year. I want him to drive this. Whatever you want, put that list together. I want him handsome. I want him with dimples. I want him strong. And when you get to the end of that list, ask yourself, is the type of man that you just named, does he want you? Because if he don't, you can wish all you want. I hear a lot of women out there talking about, well, I'll be feminine for the right man. Imagine a man saying, I'll be masculine for the right woman. That's... Ugh. Yeah. When well, the right what woman come along, I'll be masculine. Yeah. I'm not exactly. sure what that means. It's, <laughs> it's just as asinine. Yeah. You know what I despise most about these relationship podcasts is that relationships are probably one of the easiest things. Like, there's a lot more difficult things in this world than relationships. But we treat it like it's the most difficult thing where we didn't start a whole podcast and everything on it. It's simple. Do you like me? Do I like you? Are you willing to compromise? Are you willing to be selfless and serve your partner? Just like your partner should be willing to be selfless and serve you. And the last thing is half the things, 90% of the things that people would be bickering and arguing about and be frustrated about in a relationship. It ain't that serious. You got to tell yourself, it is, ain't that serious, bro. That's what any marriage with longevity says. They say, it ain't that serious. Don't go to the bed angry. I mean, that's easier said than done, but it ain't that serious, bro. Half of the arguments that people been married for 50 to 60 years or, or, or more, they don't, even, they, they don't even remember the things that they argued. It's not, it's not important. Always trying to find a way to have humility and get along with each other. But you got to first like that person. Do you like that person? That's what you got to ask yourself. Why are you with somebody you don't like? We got world problems that need to be solved. We, we need more rocket scientists, more people in STEM, science, tech, engineering, and, and mathematics. And, and, and people still arguing and, and, and trying to debate and trying to figure out the same little simple relationship stuff. It's so simple, bro. Dang, it's simple, man. Dang, it's so simple.